Do yeah. not do this. Do not. Ask me. You don't want to go out there and see who this is? No. Nope. Stop calling me John and go. It seems. You know what you did. This look intense. Oh, no. All right, sisters fans. Jennifer has entered the chat. First seen quarreling furiously with Aaron. She behaves in several ways like a current girlfriend who is livid because she knows that Aaron is a cheater. Aaron insists to Karen, after Jennifer has stalked off still in a state of rage, that she is a common garden variety stalker, but is he telling the truth? Well, seems like Aaron is living a double life. Who's to say he doesn't have a couple more chicks on the side? The most interesting part about the promo for next week isn't the fact that Jennifer straight up slaps him in the face and Pam is doing a play-by-play -play from the salon looking out the window or glass doors going, oh, child, is getting tense out there. You sure you don't want to see? My favorite part is Karen with her back to the window doing the woman's hair going, nope. But it gets to the point where she does look out there. So we do know at some point we do have um, Karen going to see what's going on and talking to Aaron about it. The most interesting part is when Aaron kind of like drags Jennifer behind his truck. That way nobody can see what's going on. And he's like, stop calling me John. You need to go. I think Aaron is John to Karen. Well, excuse me, John to this Jennifer chick. But is Aaron to Karen. And we all know the saying, but say it with me now. Atlanta is too damn small. How could Aaron do this not suspecting that at some point it would come around to him? You know, like, you know, you can't see multiple women at once and then expect it to not blow up in your face in a show where everybody seems to know everybody. It looks like we have an old-fashioned cheater. But then again, I don't feel bad for Karen. I honestly don't. Because <laughs> I'm just laughing to myself. Uh, what was it when she was at Zach's place? And she was like, I don't want your child support. I don't need it. I have Aaron. Well, it looks like you aren't the only one. And I think that personally, I feel a lot better about this. If let's say Aaron decided not to stand by Karen's sides a long time ago. Like, let's say, let's just go back to like the letter reading. And he's like, you know what, Karen, it's all right. I can't change your heart. You've. And to be an adult about it, be mature instead of a simp, you've told me multiple times that you still weren't over Zach. I was the one that was pushing, and I'm not going to try to change your mind anymore. You know, I wish you the best, but I'm gone. And then Zach, of course, is with Fatima, so now Karen's on her own. And then the, and I said this over a year ago, you know, Karen keeps pushing Aaron away and, you know, saying she's so confused and this, that, and the third. The moment he starts bringing another woman ice cream, the moment he starts rubbing another woman's feet, that's when Karen's going to be like, no, -uh, uh, uh, Aaron, Aaron, I want you. That's how it always goes. But in this situation, this Jennifer, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like um, it's definitely a situation where Aaron, who knows what kind of person he is with John compared to who he is or who we've seen him to be with um karen so i'm very i think for the first time and who knows when i'm interested in seeing oh shit what is aaron about to do because usually i'm like oh here we go he's just here to you know comfort karen and you know suck up to her and this that and the third but no aaron i i'm actually intrigued to see where this is going to go I'm look to put it bluntly, I'm more interested in what Aaron and Jennifer got going on in the parking lot than anything regarding Fatima and Joey having a kid. I don't care about that. This Aaron thing, I've waited what three seasons to see what this dude is really about, and it looks like we're getting a small taste of it. I can see it now. A lot of people's like, "Wow, this guy." The one thing he said would be the closer of any marriage is cheating. And here he is, but number one, he's not married now. Number two, he and Karen aren't even a couple. Yeah, I mean, as much as Karen keeps saying to Fatima, I've moved on, and or I'm moving forward with Aaron. Y'all ain't together. Y'all not. I mean, he's the one who's been acting like y'all have been together, but you've made it clear plenty of times that 
you know what, I don't love you and, you know, I'm not, or I love you, but I'm not truly in love with you and, you know, all this and that. So I, man, come on now. So we'll just have to wait and see. All right, well, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I really can't wait, can't wait to get Pam's commentary on this. And also, Fatima told Zach to go to the salon to apologize to Karen. Do you think he's going to show up there and then see what's going on? Or do you think he's just going to go straight to the law firm for lunch with Fatima because the Joey thing really has him wanting to talk to Fatima one-on-one? -on -one? Now, with that being said, like and subscribe, follow me on social media, and I'll talk to you in the next one.